that I have this Jeep Wrangler here. <coughs> which we just finished correction and coating in Art to Shine graphene coating. Uh, we're not really sure, but it says Willie's on it. The customer's name is not Willie. But I have left the plastics not coated because today we're going to review Fine Labs plastic ceramic coating. And this Jeep has a lot of plastic and a big vinyl roof, which we already coated in Arch Shine, so we're not going to touch that. But we're going to do all this lower trim here, the fender flares, and we will demonstrate how to use and how hydrophobic this coating is. It's supposed to last about a year, um, and I believe it is available to both consumers and professionals. We have plastic coating, applicator, gloves. I'm gonna tape off half of this fender so we can do a little half and half. Should always shake your product. Every company tells you shake it before you open it. And now, plastic trim eats a lot of product, usually. So let's uh, saturate this pad real good. And then apply. Now this stuff you can use on headlights, plastic trim, pretty much any plastic surface. And this Jeep sure has a lot of those. So, <clears throat> with some plastic coatings, you can sometimes just let them sit and not wipe them off and everything will be cool. But some of them need to be leveled. I would say this coating should be leveled. Let's see the, how much it's darkened it up from application. So I'm gonna give this like, a minute before I wipe it off. Most Fine Lab products are reasonably forgiving and you can usually let them sit for a while. So I'm gonna wait a minute and see how it goes. All right, let's try wiping this off. It's pretty grabby, but that means it's doing its job. So here's a 50-50, a little bit darker, but not super dark. Some people don't want to darken their new trim up too much and give it that like wet look. They just want that nice protection. So let's spray it with some water. Got our uh, water bottle. Got some pretty nice beads there. And uh, also over here. So um, yeah, okay. Well, I guess the uh, Jeep plastics are already hydrophobic. Weird. All right, so I pulled the tape off. You can kind of see there's a line. So one side a little bit darker than the other. So I guess we're just gonna coat the rest. All right, so let's coat the rest of this fender. Now we'll go around and do the rest of the car. This thing's gonna go home tomorrow morning. Can't wait for the owner to see it. This color looks friggin' awesome. This stuff uh, does not feel pleasant to inhale though, so I might recommend also wearing um, a mask when installing this, because man, this shit stinks. I'm just gonna do the fenders and the trim here, because uh, we already coated the door handles in uh, graphene earlier, which I imagine will probably hold up about the same amount of time. 
probably a year or so on plastics. Now if you're doing this on a car as like the last step, make sure you don't leave any residue on your nice clean paint. All right, so all the plastics are coated. So that was Fine Lab plastic. Um, kind of funny that it didn't make it any more hydrophobic, but it did make them look really nice. And now they've got about one year of UV protection to go with their five years of paint protection. And I think the owner's gonna be pretty stoked on this Jeep. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and share with your friends. And uh, don't forget to uh, catch us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific uh, for detailing videos.